you know, did a great job, first of all, of, of out executing our team. Uh, everything that we went over and knew that they were going to run uh, from an offensive standpoint, um, you know, they still executed it, even though we, we knew they were going to run it. So lots and lots of credit to them. We knew they were, I, I felt like they would line up and zone us, uh, especially with Chaz not playing today. I, I, we expected that. We worked on it. And they just executed everything that they had game plan wise a lot better than we did. A lot of credit to them. Um, no, no, I, 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 you know, you can't look at a loss like this, and I don't want to say at a loss like this because of point differential. You know, I mean, there were times when we were still, from a point perspective, still in it, so to say. I mean, I did, I thought we were making strides with that. I was extremely disappointed with um, what I call the effort plays in a game. The one thing that I thought we'd been doing pretty well, um, we really, really got beat in every facet of the game from the effort standpoint. And, I, you know, obviously that has a lot to do with not shooting the ball well. You, you know, young kids get discouraged and stop making effort plays when they base everything on offense. We shot the ball horrible today. Do you think part of the reason for the poor shooting was because of the weird background being in a, in a football stadium? Oh, you can't use that for an excuse. I mean, neither team shot well, so you could probably attribute some of that to the background and the environment. But, you know, because I didn't think they really shot very well either at all. Um, and that's where it, hustle plays have to come into play and how hard and, you know, 50-50 balls, all of that, which we didn't want any part of for some reason today. thought we got really discouraged, sign of youth, sign of immaturity, sign of lack of leadership. Coach, at what point, where do you go from from now, from today as far as learning moment from out of this game? I think you start, hopefully, uh, from the from the player's perspective, I hope that they start paying a little more attention to detail and practice. This is, you know, coaches can sometimes see things coming based on how players are practicing. And unfortunately, you know, me, we might have had a, a little bit clouded vision of who we are and not understanding that the only way we're going to win basketball games this year is to be probably really ugly and, you know, play really hard-nosed defense and be great on the boards. And, you know, we may have started thinking we were a little bit better than we are, so I'm, I'm hoping that this is a reality check for them and that we go back to work. Um, just didn't work hard enough today at all. I guess obviously you're wrong. Um, I, I think we'll know, honestly. I, I, I don't want to, you know, jump out there and say, oh, we're terrible, just mm -hmm. we lost a game. Right. And it's where do we go? I mean, kind of like he just said, where, you know, what do you learn from it? How much better do you get from this loss? What does a reality check do for you? And the next two games, I think, will be, I think then we'll see if we really were quite overrated. I don't want to jump out there and say that, Kirk, immediately because, I mean, we are young and we are we were without, I mean, Koki was not full strength at all and we were without two starters today. So I'm not trying to make excuses for them. I think we'll know the answer to that in a week or two. When do you think you might get Chad? It's day-to-day -day right now. I mean, I feel fine about it. Um, she will be back. Um, just definitely day-to-day -day being very cautious about it, clearly. I just she just suffered a hand injury in the in in the game against um, Corpus Christi, and has been day to day since then. Do you feel like your team ever felt scared or intimidated? You know, um, I thought we started the game well, um, and then, you know, I subbed, and when we subbed, the energy level went down, and there, I think then the youth set in. I think then it was like, oh, this is really going to be really tough. And we have, face it, we have not had to play probably since the St. John's game, we have not had to play a 40-minute game. We've played a half in several games of, of pretty decent basketball. We've not played a 40-minute game this year. So I mean, we needed to play this game. Yeah. And, you know, 
we have to go back to the drawing board with some things. I mean, obviously turnovers are a huge issue for our team right now, and that's not seemingly to, you know, it's not getting better. Um, what are your options there? Um, you know, we, again, don't want to overreact to one loss. It is youth. Um, and we can make we can alter some things we do in practice. I, you know, I love the up tempo style, but I mean that it, we'll learn at some point if that's not going to play into these young guards' hands to play so up tempo. Mm -hmm. Today, I really thought it wasn't. I thought they slowed us down. I thought that you know they got us to a snail's pace, and then we sort of stood around, you know, making one pass, and we'd walk it down, make one pass, and then jack it up, and and the. I think there was one stat here Ashley gave me where we were up 10 to 5 and we missed 20 straight shots. So, um, and I would say that in that stretch, if I go back and look at the film, we probably made one pass and shot it. One pass and shot it, and then all of a sudden we started playing into their transition game, and they made a run and we didn't answer that. The rest, I mean, we didn't answer the run at all. Well, I think NECA, first of all, I want to say I was really, you never want to want to expect to not win, but I did see this performance coming a little bit based on, I didn't think we practiced well this week. I'm a coach that is a big believer in preparation and how you look in practice all week. And the one thing I can say for NECA is that she comes every day and performs in practice. And I think that's why she's fairly consistent. I mean, she didn't shoot the ball well today and really didn't play well, and she would tell you that. But, I mean, rebounding is effort, and she does come, she comes to play every day in practice. Um, I think what's our biggest problem right now is that everybody doesn't come to play every day in practice. We have a lot of young people. It's always something, and until we can get this group to figure out that practice is really important, then we're not going to make much headway. Last questions. Coach, if you can, talk about the, uh, the purpose of this, this showcase and what it means. Well, it, it means a lot, and, you know, you don't want to ever discount the, the opportunity that we had to come down here and play this. I, I, you know, we really, really appreciate this opportunity by everyone involved. I mean, just the benefit that it has for cancer research is enough said right there. Um, and, you know, it's we're very privileged to be a part of what's going on today, and you know, I again want to thank everyone for that opportunity, and I wish we would have performed well. You don't ever want to come to this type of environment, especially when someone invited you down here to represent the state and the University of Texas and perform like this. So I'm very disappointed that we didn't show more pride. But we will, you know, you always, as a coach, I will always take responsibility for us not performing well, and, and we, as a coaching staff, have to get back and figure out how we can be better. All right, we good? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.